Okay, I want to explain how a downhill fork that's 20 years old, this one was made in 2002, how it goes together because I had a hard time finding something on the internet about this. So I kind of laid it out. First of all, I had to take this one nut off right here and then that leads into this bushing and then the spring with a bushing in the middle of it and the other bushing and there's the bolt and then there's like a, another bushing, and then it goes into the bar, the downhill bar. There is a, an Allen key six millimeter on the end of that bolt, right in there. So if you need to, you can use that to help get it out. Okay, and then there's the bar. Um, there's another bushing, I had a hard time getting that bushing out. So what I did is I took a hacksaw blade, just put a slice through it and I was able to peel it out of there. And that's not going to matter when I put it back together. And then there's a seal and then a snap ring. But to get it out was a real challenge. So first thing you got to do is you have to remove that nut and then you just pound on it with a piece of wood so you don't damage it and try to pop it out. But that didn't seem to work so I had to go put it on a press and I'll explain that a little bit later. But um, I did clean these out, these little uh, openings for the forks. For the, for the rods or the bars. And the way I did that is I made myself a wire brush. It was a one inch wire brush and I, I just welded a piece of threaded rod to it. And I was able to clean out inside there and make it really smooth again because it was really rusted in there. Um, it was a challenge to pop these out, these springs, I'm not gonna lie. Um, to take the bars out, that was really difficult. After I got everything apart, then I had to get into the spring. And to get that bar out, what I did is I took an old leather glove with this type of vice, vice grip. And you could kind of see the teeth marks in the leather glove right there. And I was able to hold that and just kind of pull it out. And I was able to get that out. Okay, but that's, that's kind of the downhill fork. Okay, on a bike. And it's one of my most favorite bikes. That's why I put the effort into it. The bike was given to me and I kind of rebuilt the bike and the fork didn't work and I really wanted it to work. Um, these little plugs right here, you don't have to take them out. I tried taking one out because I thought it was all metal in there. Um, you don't have to take that out. I just threaded in a knot on this side. I tapped it and threaded it in just to kind of seal it off. Um, that's just a, that's there probably for air if you ever have to get into it or whatever, but it's, I'm not sure why it's there. I did have to hold the fork together. I just used a piece of uh, a long bolt and with some nuts because I didn't want it to break here because it can break off and I didn't want it to break the weld off that. But that's the challenge that I had with this downhill fork. But I'm glad I took on the challenge. Uh, also to get the spring out, I had to use this metal piece of metal rod and I put it inside that hole here when I was prying the spring out and that helped. That did help me when I was kind of to break to pull it out. It was a challenge. Okay, so that's that's some of the uh, uh, anatomy of a downhill fork from 2002. I could have put this downhill fork together. I put the one side in already and it was a I had to think about it, how to do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the parts ready. I like to put a little bit of oil on the spring. So I'm just going to use a paintbrush and some oil. I like to just oil things up a little bit. So I'm going to put that, and then this part goes in here. So I got the bushing, another bushing in the middle, and then this bushing goes on the end. Okay. So we got that. So this goes, and then this will go in here like this. Okay, that feels good. Oil inside here. So I made a little rag with a stick on the end. And I dip it in the oil, and I just wanna put some oil down in here. So this nice, everything slides nice and easy. Okay, so I just kinda oil that up inside. Okay. Then I will put this piece in. And it goes in like this. Oh, Daddy. Daddy thinks I'm 
Okay, I oiled it up in there. All right, I put some oil in there and on the spring. Okay, I like to take a little grease also, put it around this. Maybe a little bit in here too. Don't hurt. Okay, we'll slide that in. Yeah, I can push it in with this rod. Okay, that goes in there. Then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put this bush in there. I kind of damaged it a little. I had to cut it to get it out, but it's okay. All right, so we'll just kind of push that in. The bushing in now. Now I'm gonna put a seal. Okay, so I'll just take the seal. Oh, before I put the seal, I gotta put the snapper in. Okay, I'll take this, squeeze it here. Just push that back in. Okay, now I can put the seal in there. Okay, I like to push this down a little bit. Make sure it goes down. Okay, now I'll put the seal in. Okay, now I like to take a little bit of oil on my rag. And I'll just, just kind of make sure I oil everything up and around the seal. Okay, and then I'll take a little grease a bit so that the grease sticks better. Okay, now I'll take some grease. Just put it in here. This way it stays in there. So I'm going to put this bar in. Then I figured out a way to do this. Now I got to get some grease. And I want to make sure I grease this, this rod. For some reason, the factory put this extra washer on this side. So I'm going to keep it the way it was, the factory. Okay, we'll put that rod in. Okay, but before I do that, I'll just clean up my hands a little bit. And I want to show you how I kind of came up with. Okay, I came up with the six millimeter is going to go into that. And then this will give you the perfect extension so I can compress this spring and put this nut on. And I'll show you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. Make sure it gets into the hole. Okay, now what I have to do is I need to use the press to get this bolt over here on. Okay, I gotta get that rod to go down. So I use the extension, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this, and it's gonna push that bolt down. Okay, so I got this under here, and this is perfect. It works under here. I'm just gonna press this into it, because it's hard. This spring is really strong. Notice, because I'm doing this, that bolt should come through. See right here, it came through. Can you see that bolt? Right there, so I pushed it in with the press, and now I can take that nut and put it on here. If I can get it on, it's a little tricky. Okay, so there it goes, it started on. Okay, and I'll just tighten it up so it's even. Okay. It's 11 millimeter wrench. Okay, so that's how I did it because I wasn't able to push that spring in and put the nut on. All right, so you get the idea. So when I get that even, I'll stop. But you see how I kind of got it set up? And now I got these forks back together. How the fork is working now. All right, so if I push down, you can see that it's going up nice. Before it didn't even move. Okay, so I'm very happy on how this worked out. Okay, now I rebuilt the front fork. It's a downhill fork. And this is how it works. 
get it nice and close. Okay, and also I wanted to show you these plugs, they didn't screw in. They were just here. They go in here. Okay, so they just pulled out. Just so you know. Okay, so that's how the front port works. To get it really close, I hit the brake. Okay, and so that's working nice now.